<laughs> so the Amazing Spider-Man is a retelling of the Spider-Man origin story. This time, it's Peter trying to discover more about his parents because that's something that's never been discussed before in a Spider-Man, I believe, comic television series or film. Okay. Well, it's never. I've never heard of it as even a issue. An like issue. they yeah. just. No, you know, no, I mean, they, they yeah, weren't no, actually part no of the one really cares, but Mark Webb decided people care. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm going to turn to Kevin for opening review. <laughs> what did you think? I uh, saw it this morning, and... <laughs> and that's my review. <laughs> no, um, I actually, I, I enjoyed it. I really did. Mm-hmm. I, I won't say it was great, it, it, you know, the best reboot I've ever seen, but... It honestly, to me, by the time the movie was done, was better than I thought it was going to be. Yeah, I would agree. There were times where it kind of lagged a little bit, where I thought they maybe spent a little too much effort digging into areas, you know, whether it was his family or, or the girl or whatever. There's some moments where it falls but, flat. Yeah. yeah, but honestly, yeah, like there was... the whole first it, half. Well... That's your opinion. Yeah, that's your opinion. Uh, <laughs> but honestly, viewing. at the end, I though, care. I think they did a really good job of bringing it together at the end. Um, there were a couple of corny things, a couple of lines here and there that weren't necessary. You kind mm-hmm. of knew what people were thinking. Um, but honestly, a, a really good movie. But even more than that, I think it was kind of, we were holding it to a higher standard because it's a reboot. Yeah. Yeah. And I actually, I, afterwards, I thought about it. I went back and I tried to think about the, the first one as much as I could. Mm-hmm. I enjoyed this one more. Really? Than the first one. I did. Even though there were some holes in it. Even though there were some flat areas. I, I, I think I liked the Peter Parker character in this one better. I would agree. Yeah. I did. Mm-hmm. And, and I think he did a really good job. At carrying the movie compared to the first one. What, what Just I really the first enjoyed one. about this Peter Parker. The issue I have with the first one is he's... He's such a nerd. He's such a weakling. That's right. Peter Parker, though. I don't agree with that. No, no yeah. He's, and, and then this this issue in this one, he's still he's kind of weak. But when he stands up for um, the kid, who I think is, um, is in the beginning of the movie, yeah, because he's getting beat up. Yeah, the, you, the bully's trying to make him bull- eat something. F- Flash is uh, trying to beat him. Flash mm-hmm. Thompson is yeah. trying to make him eat something. There's this sense that he there's this like strength inside him that he wants to have. He just right. literally isn't strong enough. Yeah. I didn't get that from Sam Raimi's first Spider Man. And the this issue I have with Sam Raimi's first Spider Man is that he's a nerd and then when he becomes when he gets this power, you know, all of a sudden, you know, he actually gets like stronger and more attractive and things right. like that. And something that I loved about this, this Spider Man that I thought was really cool, he gets the snot beat out of yeah, him. Yeah. Like there are times when he he's like Bleeding, he's bleeding, he's bruised, he's he cut comes up. home and you could see the bruises yeah. on him. He's, he, one thing that oh. I noticed and that I actually liked about this, I didn't like very much about this actually, mm-hmm. but there are a few things that I really enjoyed. He is not graceful at all. He's like flopping around right. all over the place when he's swinging. Mm-hmm. You just feel like at any moment he's just smash into a wall. Yeah. So he doesn't have he's like complete vulnerable. control. And right. even to when he's just. Especially like, when he first gets his powers and he's tearing his on. room apart. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that, was like, that was something I enjoyed more so yeah. than it was in the first when movie. When he scored like Cause the, the, cause in, based on the mirror and he's like, <laughs> oh well. In, 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 the, in, the, in the first movie, Peter Parker had his powers and he was. In 30 seconds, okay, and was able to do yeah, everything right. like he normally could. In this one, he tore his room apart. He destroyed the bathroom. <laughs> but I mean, even towards every the, door handle, <laughs> even towards the end of the movie, mm-hmm. he still, when he's like swinging around and stuff, he still looks very clumsy. It, it, and it, I like that. Yeah, I think you know, that's it's, great. It's also, this sense that it, it gives a sense of tension because there are times when, like, he gets shot. Yeah, that's yeah. why. That's you part know? of the reason yeah. he's very and clumsy like, is because oh, he, yeah. he no, can't just, get toward his body as before, well. Even mm-hmm. before he gets shot, just right. the way they do the web swinging, mm-hmm. it's, it's cool. like someone's actually swinging and not yeah. like flying. When Sam Raimi's or every other Spider Man ever it's seen, very polished. it's almost like he's flying with, you know, all these webs. Whereas Especially this, when he's it's connecting like his. Like, uh, Holy crap, I don't know where I'm going next. Especially when he's thing. connecting his web to something that's not even there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Kind of that was one thing that was good about drops. this one is that they always showed you where the web yeah, was going. It was like, okay, here it is. It hits the helicopter. Here it is. It hits the crane for the construction building. Mm-hmm. The, my problems with this, I think this is actually very well directed. And those mm-hmm. are the choices that yeah. Mark Webb 
was did an amazing job directing. Well, he's the perfect director for this movie because of his last uh, name. name. Yeah. Well, <laughs> that's exactly why he should be picked. Uh, yeah. Well, he he, he has. I, I read an uh, interview with uh, Dennis Leary, and he basically said that Mark Webb made like shot this like he would shoot an indie movie, mm-hmm. and shot and directed like he would direct an indie movie. So it had that very like sort of. Clumsy, not clumsy, but you know what I mean. It, just sort of raw. It, it wasn't as smooth. You, you yeah. could tell it, it wasn't the computer that was smoothing everything out. Mm-hmm. But the one thing, though, I at first I didn't mind, but then I thought they overused was the point of view. The first yeah, person, thing. That was yeah, awful. and that, I liked it a, a little bit at awful. first. It was yeah. good, but then it, they started. They used it three or four times, and I was like, okay, we got it. It was well, kind of cool. Cut into it. Yeah. yeah, you liked it probably more because you saw it in three D. Yeah, it looks yeah. awesome in three D. Oh, and it, the, it, the it looks really view, like, well because that shot yeah. that I'm pretty sure right. that's just a 3D camera that they just like moves yeah. through things, and so it you could really right. like when when birds would fly out and things like that, yeah. or when he would shoot his web. I mean, it really and it was it was smooth. It looked really cool. In 3D. That may be the case right. in 2D. It yeah. did not work. It, it just felt like oh, so he's trying jumping. to make this a video game. Yeah, I just it just that'd be not, an interesting thing. Rough. Would be to see if they cut those scenes out from 2D movies. Yeah. And just leave him out and do a side shot or something of him doing that in, and yeah, then like have it completely versions. two different cuts, yeah. one for 3D and one for 2D. So you, you, you mentioned the first half. You, you, you would kind of like sarcastically, and I, I, I would agree. I think the first half is weaker than definitely the second half. You don't get to see Spider-Man for like, for a long 50 time. 50 minutes. Yeah. But that's it's like, a because it's really the origin story. story. They've got yeah. to develop I don't the care. Character. If they just <laughs> jump right into it though, honestly, I'd look back and go, well, wait a minute. Mm-hmm. You, you can't do that. If you're telling an origin story, you've got to build the and character. It's a very different origin story. It, it but it not that different, and that's my main that, problem that, with that it. That is yeah. my biggest issue. It's very. Know. I mean, you have Uncle Ben. I mean, you have you. They hit all the Spider-Man points. Right. And I was like, why am I watching this again? Yeah. You have to that's hit all the whole, Spider-Man points. But, so, but I, I, no, they could have gone back earlier. I wish they wouldn't. They would have gone maybe up to the point of Uncle Ben's death and explored that because mm-hmm. I, otherwise, it's. It's pretty much the same movie. Well, it's, he... Are <laughs> uh, <laughs> you going to do like a basic review? Yeah. Um, or do you want me to talk about you inside show? No, I was just to put you on the spot even more. Oh, okay. Um, I really, really enjoyed this movie. I think it's, um, I think it's my favorite Wes Anderson film. Um, I think it's amazingly well shot. I, I really enjoy Cock, and I know it's it gets cool. yeah. beat on a lot. I don't Why? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. I really enjoy it. I just like that you said, I really enjoy it. I really hope they really made it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I hope they made it. Oh, Nate. So, oh, 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 done. Please cut that, Nate. <laughs> you know exactly what you need to cut out <laughs> to make that awesome. Oh. <laughs> I really enjoy Scott. <laughs> <laughs> and I like when it gets beat on a lot. <laughs> <laughs> oh.